welcome to today's Kids Yoga for Focus and Concentration. So today's practice is really going to be focused on engaging our concentration in our poses to apply to our everyday life. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. And let's chant with OM, because if we chant with OM, it helps to calm and ease our mind throughout the practice and also helps us to have positivity throughout our mind and our body. So let's start with our eyes closed. Your hands can be a prayer to your heart. And on the inhale, let's chant. Oh. And open your eyes. Let's go ahead, release your hands to your knees. Roll your shoulders back, down, and around. Releasing any stress out of our shoulders, especially if we carry any bag throughout the day, such as a backpack or a purse. This will help to create space in our shoulders and stretch it out. Go in the opposite direction with your shoulders, moving it. All right, go ahead, come back to seated, and let's do a seated cat and cow with our spine. So let's inhale, open the chest and look up to the sky. Exhale, curve your back, look towards your belly button. Inhale, open up to cow. Exhale, look down towards your belly button. Inhale, open towards cow, opening up the heart. Exhale into cat, one more. Inhale, open into cow. Exhale the back into cat, really big arch. Sit up nice and tall. Let's go ahead and come into our tabletop, all fours. And let's stretch our right leg back behind us so it's straight. Stretch your left arm in front of you so it's straight. We're balancing. And let's bend that right knee and grab our right foot with our left hand. And this is like a baby dancer's pose. Opening up our hip. Yeah, look up, open the chest. Beautiful, great job. Yeah, you got it. Slowly release, back in the tabletop, switch sides. Your left leg back, straight behind you, right arm in front of you. We're balancing, and then bend your left leg. Reach your right arm behind you. Open your left leg. We're in a baby dancer and open the chest, look up. Yep, girls got it. Awesome, great job. Release back into tabletop position. Come forward and then stretch into puppy pose. Resting on our forehead. We're on our knees. Stretch your arms nice and long in front of you. Maybe you'd like to bend your elbows behind your head, stretching your elbows into prayer hands, and take two breaths in this pose. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, one more breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Good job, slowly release, come out of your puppy pose. Back in a tabletop, yep. And tuck your toes behind you. Shift back into downward facing dog. And let's walk it out, or maybe you wanna run in your downward dog. However energetic you're feeling today, just make sure that your feet are as wide as your shoulders, as wide as your hips. And walking it out, one pushing one heel back at a time, feeling a nice good stretch. Make sure we breathe, filling up some fresh air into our lungs, bringing in positivity into our mind and our body, and exhale, letting all that negativity go. Hold your down dog still. Go ahead and 
and shift forward into plank pose. Hold your plank, chaturanga all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Go ahead and look back towards your left shoulder. Getting a nice stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, look back over towards your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. Good, great job. Let's go ahead, step your left leg forward, but pivot the toes so now you're facing towards the front. Yep, good job. So both of your 10 toes will face towards the front, and then we're in our wide-legged standing forward fold. Yep, great job, good. And just moving back and forth, in our wide legged, we're stretching our the inside of our legs and also the outside of our legs. Yep, swaying back and forth. Let's grab the outside of our left leg and look up over that left shoulder towards the sky. Looking up, feeling a nice good twist and stretch. Back to center in your wide legged. And now grab the outside of your right leg and look up over your right shoulder towards the sky, getting a stretch on the side of your body. Good, come back down into your wide legged. Let's sit in our half yoga squat with your right leg straight out. Yeah, beautiful. And we're sinking low on our left leg. Take your right arm up and open towards the universe, looking up towards your right hand, feeling a stretch. And take one inhale with me, in through the lungs. Exhale, let it go. Good job, let's switch sides. And let's come into our half yoga squat, other side, left leg straight out. You can point your toes or you can keep the toes facing towards the sky. Open your left arm now to face the sky. Feeling a nice, good stretch. And let's inhale, take in that air, that breath. Exhale it out. Coming back out of your Skadasana pose, also known as half yoga squat. Let's go ahead and come back into our wide legged with all 10 of our toes. Yep, got it, great job, friends. And let's step our, pivot your left toes to the front. Step your left bed back into downward dog, left foot back. And then bend your knees, look to the front of the mat, hop or step to the front. Inhale, halfway, lengthen the back, flat, nice and long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll the back all the way up into mountain. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, dive it down forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead on the inhale, raise your right leg up to the sky into three-legged dog. Point those toes up. And then exhale, swing your right leg forward into pigeon. Pigeon pose. So our left leg, yep, beautiful pigeon. Left leg straight back. Feeling a stretch, raise your arms up towards the sky, opening up your heart with lots of love, feeling a nice deep back bend. And let's grab our left foot behind us with our left arm, stretching our left leg. Good, and let's remember to smile. Smile, friends, be happy. Release the leg into pigeon. Arms can come back up. You can always release your arms forward down into sleeping pigeon if you want to rest. Take a breath. And slowly come back into pigeon. Swing your right leg back up into three-legged dog. And place it back down into your down dog. Swing your left leg up now, three-legged. Point those left toes, really open up. And swing it forward into pigeon, other side. 
Yep, so, yep, perfect. Our right leg is straight back behind us. Left leg is bent. Open the arms up. Opening up our heart, stretching our back. Grab that right leg behind you. Stretching our leg, placing that foot to rest in your right elbow. Yeah. All sorts of stretch in our back and legs here. Good release. And this is called mermaid pose. When we bend the leg, we're in a mermaid right now. Slowly release back into pigeon. Raise the arms up. Exhale the hands down. Swing the left leg back into three legged dog. Put the leg back down into downward facing dog. And then shift forward into plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take one breath. And bend your knees, look to the front. Hop four step to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, roll your back all the way up. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart into Samasthiti. And let's take our half lotus standing pose, taking our right ankle to the top of our left thigh. Make sure your right knee points towards down to the ground. Yep. You got it. Yeah, good job. Yep, that's the way. And you can grab that for your elbow behind you if you like. So we're feeling a nice, good stretch. Good. And let's go ahead. Yep. Release the leg. And let's inhale, take a breath. Arms up. Exhale it down. Inhale, halfway fold. Exhale it down. Inhale, roll the back all the way up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Let's take our left leg up now and place our left ankle on the top of our right leg. So we're doing the other side, half lotus pose. While we're standing, you can grab your elbow behind you. Yep, you got it. You can raise your arms up. You can maybe fold forward while you're in the half lotus. Just having fun with this. Yep, this will help you balance better. Exactly, if you have your hands down. If you want to challenge, try it standing. Yep, slowly release out of it. Inhale, raise the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, step back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your right hand on the outer edge of your left leg and look up towards your left armpit, feeling a nice good twist and stretch. And come back into down dog. Switch sides and grab your left hand on the outside of your right leg looking up. Twisting the body, release the hand down. Shift forward into plank pose, chaturanga down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Go ahead and look to the front of your mat. Hop to the front into seated position. And let's go ahead and take our lotus in seated pose now, placing one leg first on top of the other. So whichever side is easier for you. And then taking your other foot on top into a full lotus. Yep, you got it. And then placing your hands next to your body. We're gonna lift up into a scale pose and swing our body. So ready? Let's swing. Yeah, yeah, ready, swing having fun in this pose, building lots of arm strength. Good. Got it. Good job. Release, let down, and let's go ahead and release our legs. Legs 
in front of you. Hug your knees into your chest. And let's roll back. We're going to roll back into our plow pose. So go ahead and get ready to roll all the way back. Yep, beautiful. Make sure your toes are touching the ground over your head. This is really good to help calm our mind and our body. Helping to eliminate any fear or anger that we have. This will help us to forgive. Just relax your mind. Go ahead and release your legs down all the way to the mat. Coming into our last final pose, Shavasana. Close your eyes. Let your arms rest on the side of your body and your legs. And take in everything that you just did and surrender. Let it all go. In this practice today, it should help you throughout your day and your week, helping you to achieve better grades and improve academic performance. Just relax. to my channel, Yana Yoga. Namaste.